Residents and visitors will be invited to take part in vibrant interactive programming and traditional and contemporary Indigenous performance. And on September 24th, the City of Vancouver and Reconciliation Canada will together host the Walk for Reconciliation, which was an enormous success a number of years ago on a day just about as delightful as today as far as weather is concerned. Uh, I do have a proclamation to read. It's now my great pleasure to read it on behalf of Mayor Robertson for the 52nd birthday of the National Flag of Canada. And uh, the proclamation says, Whereas the National Flag of Canada has long symbolized the independence, freedom, and welcoming spirit of our country, and whereas the Maple Leaf has produced the Canadian emblem for over 200 years, that was integrated into the National Flag of Canada in 1965 with the oversight of Lake Patrick Reed, and whereas the new National Flag of Canada was proclaimed by Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, on January 28, 1965, and inaugurated on this day in 1965, and whereas the National Flag of Canada is looked upon by those around the world as a symbol of the Canadian spirit, now therefore I, Gregor Robertson, Mayor of the City of Vancouver, do hereby proclaim February the 15th, 2017, the 52nd birthday of the National Flag of Canada in the City of Vancouver. Okay. Is that that clear to you? Thank you, Don. Oh, I'm just glad I don't have to stand on a, a pile of snow today. <laughs> um, typical Vancouver weather. And first of all, I'd like to thank the Park Board and the City of Vancouver to invite success to this meaningful event today. And it is such a meaningful day. And uh, we are raising the, uh, our Canadian flag at the highest point in the City of Vancouver to celebrate the National Flag of Canada Day and, of course, Canada's 150th birthday of this great nation. And uh, it's also the 52nd anniversary of the uh, Maple Leaf flag, and it is a symbol of this great nation's uh, core values. They are and such as uh, um, harmony, such as openness, and uh, inclusiveness, and uh, uh, welcome all the people from all groups in the world. And success is an integrate, uh, uh, immigration uh, serving organization for the last 43 years it has been obviously and certainly embracing these values. And at the same time, we are helping uh, the integration of new immigrants as well as the uh, multicultural harmonies in all the communities we serve. By raising the flag today, we are here to, to witness and also to, uh, to celebrate the Canada 150 and will continue to stand free and strong for this great nation and as great Canadians. Thank you. Thank, thank you, everybody. I'm thrilled to be here today to represent the Board of Commissioners. I feel bad that I've got my back to some of you, but uh, we are, we're, we've got the cameras on us, so we've got to be front and center. So I would like to acknowledge all my fellow Park Commissioners, those that are here and those that just couldn't make it because they all have full-time jobs. So Commissioner Evans, who is here, Catherine Evans, Commissioner Casey Crawford, who is here, uh, Sarah Kirby Young, Stuart McKinnon, Michael Weave, and Aaron Shum. And I have to say that they were all very supportive of this installation, so I'm very, very proud to mention their name. Also like to acknowledge uh, Councillor Adrian Carr. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you, Nelson, for your words. Very inspiring. And I also know that uh, Kelly Yip is here from uh, Success. So thank you for coming, Kelly. We also have some very special guests today. Somebody who has a uh, Canadian Olympian, Robert Soprata, a member of the Cana Crazy Canucks downhill team who represented Canada at the 1976 Olympics. Rob is right over in the corner there. I can't, imagine, I can't imagine the thrill that he had representing his country, so I really feel good here today. Mr. Raymond Greenwood, president of the Vancouver Club, and uh, also uh, Vancouver Fire Department Captain Jonathan Gorman, who is VP of the uh, Vancouver Canadian Club, and they were both, both very helpful in putting this project together. Also present today, Deputy Chief Brian Godmanton. And also joined by Honorary Colonel of the British Columbia Regiment, the famous Dukes, Colonel Ted Hawthorne. Also, Mr. Sean Wade, President of the Royal Commonwealth Society, Mainland of British Columbia, who was kind enough to arrange the color party. Thank you very much 
John, I also like to shout out to thank the chief Adam Palmer of the BPD for providing us with a piper from the world famous Vancouver Police Band that represents us all around the world, and we're so thrilled that they're here. I would also like to welcome the Nootka Elementary School Choir and the Dixie Strollers Brass Band that will give us some great entertainment. So thank you for coming, and it's so great to see youth here as we raise this flag. Also like to recognize uh, Vicki Earle, the chair of the Bloedel Committee at the Vancouver Mission Bananas Garden Association, and Sean Mitchell, the executive director of the Vancouver Bananas Garden Association, who helps the park board in creating programs within the conservatory. Finally, uh, on a personal note, there's a couple of friends of mine that are here, Don and Bonnie Simpson, who in 2009, when we were working to save the conservatory, they were out front on the very first day. And they're here as great supporters of everything that's been done here. So today will be the first time that our national flag has flown at the highest point in the city. In my opinion, it's long overdue. Modell Conservatory was actually conceived as a centennial project in 1965. And at that time, it was a big plan. There was a whole bunch of things going to happen up here. There was going to be a forestry education center. There was actually going to be a planetarium that was built down at Vanier Park. And there was actually going to be a lookout tower and a restaurant. So uh, we ended up with the conservatory here and the restaurant. But the other facilities, one of them is at Van Dusen, and one of them is at Vanier Park. So they were really thinking big back then in the 60s. And uh, there, there was a real spirit of we could do anything here in Vancouver. So at its opening, the, the conservatory next to us was dedicated to a better appreciation and understanding the, the world of plants. And uh, I know that uh, having the flag flying over this place that brings people together will be something that uh, both uh, Canadians and visitors from around the world will come here and have some special pride and uh, to see that flag flying so highly above our city. Uh, we're next to really what is a very tranquil and peaceful place. The gardens all around here. I think it represents what Canada stands for. And that's really peace and uh, prosperity in, in the world. At uh, today's flag, after today's flag raising, I hope you'll take time to tour the newly refurbished Bloedel Conservatory, uh, which now has 1,488 brand new plexiglass plant panels that were installed uh, two years ago. 200 birds inside and explore its tropical ecosystem. Last year, the Park Board approved the installation of this permanent flagpole to mark the 150th anniversary of Confederation on National Flag Day in Canada. And today it's happening. At the base of, a pole, of the pole is a plaque commemorating this important event. At the inauguration of the new Canadian flag in 1965, the Speaker of the Senate declared that it is a symbol of the nation's unity. For it, beyond any doubt, it represents all citizens of Canada without distinction of race, language, belief, or opinion. Those words still ring true today. More than ever, the Maple Leaf flag is a strong symbol of Canada, a country that is peaceful, welcoming, and inclusive. Before I finish, I would like to thank the flag shop president, Susan Braverman, and her mother, Doreen Braverman, who founded the flag shop for their generous donation of the 60-foot flagpole and flag in memory of Jack Braverman, father and husband. So thank you all. <laughs>
Elementary School Choir and Dixie Strollers. <laughs> Thank you. 